Tesla isn't just shifting gears, it's changing lanes entirely. In early 2025, the headlines were brutal. Deliveries down 13%, a 41% drop in stock price. Chinese competitors like BYD flooding the market with cheaper government-backed EVs. But while Wall Street panicked over declining car sales, Tesla was building something else, quietly, relentlessly, something that could one day dwarf its car business entirely. But here's what most investors overlook. Tesla's success might not hinge on data, scale, or even technology. It may come down to something far harder to quantify. Let's decode the strategy first, then come back to what could make or break it all. Make sure you're subscribed. You'll want to see where this ends. Tesla's engineering edge is undeniable. Its gigafactories are case studies in automation, but the numbers tell a harder truth. In Q2 2025, Tesla delivered 384,122 vehicles, down 13% year over year. Revenue fell 16% to $16.7 billion. Meanwhile, BYD is thriving, selling over 4.2 million vehicles in 2024 alone. Its entry-level Seagull? Just $13,600. That's nearly a third the cost of a Tesla Model 3, pressuring Tesla's premium positioning. Tesla knows it can't out-manufacture China, so it began quietly shifting gears away from hardware towards software. Billions went into AI compute, 16,000 GPUs, a staggering 3.6 billion miles of full self-driving data, 66 times larger than Waymo's dataset according to some estimates. Because in Musk's words, Tesla will solve autonomy soon. The value of the company is primarily on the basis of autonomy. Now Tesla is ready to prove it. In Q3 2025, it quietly deployed one of the boldest experiments in modern mobility. Tesla quietly rolled out its supervised ride-hailing service across a 65-mile corridor spanning San Francisco to San Jose. That linear geofence is longer than the 74 square miles that Waymo currently covers with its fully driverless service in the same region. But there's a key difference. Tesla's rides are supervised. Waymo's are fully driverless active in five cities, logging over 100 million autonomous miles. Waymo spent years perfecting LiDAR systems and high-definition maps. Tesla's betting on vision only. Lower cost, faster deployment, easier to scale. Tesla is chasing scale. Waymo is chasing polish. Two strategies, one destination. But one of those strategies has a massive head start, hidden in plain sight. Tesla isn't just building toward autonomy, it's distributing it. While Waymo builds custom hardware, Tesla updates software. Waymo needs purpose-built fleets. Tesla already has millions of cars on the road. It's not just scale, it's distribution. A future where any Tesla can become a robotaxi just by flipping a software switch. Tesla has already introduced dynamic pricing in the Bay Area. At $2.34 per mile, its rides now align with Uber and Waymo, remove the human driver and margins explode. Of course, scaling vision-based systems means scaling their limits too. Edge case driving, misclassifications, urban unpredictability, all still haunt Tesla's rollout. The question isn't just how fast Tesla can scale, it's whether it can do so safely and legally. In California, Tesla's robotaxi service operates under a CPUC charter party permit, supervised only. It lacks the full autonomous permits that Waymo secured in 2023. But this isn't a failure, it's a strategy. Tesla is using the Bay Area rollout to collect operational data, demonstrate safety, and build trust with regulators at the CPUC and DMV. Target, full driverless permits by Q1 2026. But public sentiment remains a hurdle. Surveys suggest that nearly half of Americans remain uncomfortable with self-driving cars operating on public roads. Tesla isn't just fighting for permission, is fighting for perception. Yet permission and perception won't pay the bills forever. While Tesla is busy earning its stripes with regulators, it's quietly building another revenue engine, one that flips the script 
on traditional automakers. Imagine licensing full self-driving like a software service, tapping into billions in recurring margins with almost no new factories required. Pure IBT, but even this SaaS wildcard hinges on the same bridge of trust Tesla must still build. Full self-driving subscriptions already generate recurring revenue. $99 to $199 per month. But that's just the beginning. Imagine Tesla licensing FSD to other automakers. Ford, Volkswagen, Toyota. Most legacy players lack the infrastructure, data and compute power Tesla has spent years developing. Once autonomy becomes table stakes, time to market and regulatory proof will matter more than pride of authorship. Without the data, compute and neural net pipelines, legacy OEMs will be forced to license mature platforms or risk being priced out of the market entirely. This could be Tesla's SaaS moment. High margin, low capex revenue, all at software scale. Even a single licensing deal could unlock billions. But there's one problem, trust. Would a competitor really adopt Tesla's stack if regulators or the public still doubt it? And trust isn't the only barrier. Because while Tesla works to convert Western rivals into software clients, an entirely different battlefront is emerging. One where the competition has no intention of licensing Tesla's tech at all. Tesla's challenges aren't just in the West, they're intensifying in China, the world's largest EV market and the proving ground for the next wave of autonomy. Its market share has slipped from 7.8% to just 6% while BYD now controls roughly one-third of the market. BYD's strategy is brutally effective. Aggressive pricing, deep vertical integration, and relentless model refreshes. The Seagull EV starts at just $13,600, less than half the price of Tesla's entry Model 3, and includes advanced driver assistance as standard. That forces Tesla to choose, cut margins to compete, or give up volume. Then there's Xiaomi, the tech giant turned automaker. Its first EV launch generated 300,000 pre-orders in one hour. Xiaomi's Edge. It's already embedded in consumers' daily lives through a billion smartphones, smart homes, and wearables, letting it integrate vehicles seamlessly into a broader lifestyle ecosystem. And Baidu's Apollo Go? It's operating fully driverless level four robotaxis across multiple Chinese cities backed by a regulatory environment designed to accelerate, not slow, deployment. Government support, urban-friendly regulations, and dense test networks mean Chinese players can iterate faster, collect more real-world data, and normalize autonomy for consumers years ahead of the West. Even Giga Shanghai, Tesla's crown jewel, can only do so much. It delivered 657,000 vehicles in 2024, up 8.8% .8 year over year. But the defensive tactics are clear. Price cuts, zero interest loans, and a rapid build-out of 2,151 supercharger stations in China. These moves preserve share, but they also signal Tesla is holding the line, not breaking new ground. The strategic danger is twofold. Volume erosion, where local players can win with good enough EVs at unbeatable prices. And narrative loss. If Chinese companies mainstream autonomy first, Tesla risks being viewed globally as a fast follower rather than the innovator. And this matters far beyond car sales. Losing the autonomy narrative in China could undermine Tesla's credibility in software and AI globally, weakening its leverage in the most lucrative part of its future business model. Which is why Tesla's next chapter is critical. Because while it fights for share in China's EV market, it's also building something that could matter even more than cars. By mid-2025, nearly a quarter of Tesla's gross profit came from businesses that had nothing to do with selling cars. Energy storage revenue hit $2.73 billion in the first half of the year, up 67% year over year. The supercharger network, now opening to non-Tesla EVs across North America, has quietly become the backbone of the US charging infrastructure. Well, 
solar, insurance, and even Tesla's humanoid robot Optimus continue scaling. But energy storage isn't just about selling batteries. It's about powering AI data centers, about enabling the energy transition, about stabilizing entire electrical grids. Tesla's Megapack, its utility scale battery system, isn't a side business anymore. It's becoming critical national infrastructure, much like railroads in the 19th century or fiber optics in the 21st. Tesla isn't just building products, it's laying the rails for an electrified autonomous future. And whoever owns the rails doesn't just compete, they collect tolls from everyone else riding them. This is the part of Tesla's business that could generate recurring, high margin revenue streams rivaling, or even surpassing, its automotive profits. And that's why, when we talk about Tesla's valuation, we can't just model it like a car maker. When you control the rails, you don't just sell tickets, you decide the price of the journey. And that's why modeling Tesla like a traditional automaker misses the point entirely. Automakers are valued on razor thin margins and cyclical demand. But Tesla's future revenue streams, autonomy licensing, energy storage toll roads, AI driven services look more like software and infrastructure plays. With recurring revenue, global scalability, and minimal incremental cost per unit. Analysts who buy into this vision, like ARK Invest, see Tesla's market cap surging past $4 trillion by 2030, with share prices above $1,400. About 4x current prices, they're baking in level 4 autonomy by 2026, a scaled robotaxi network by 2030, and a SaaS licensing business generating billions annually. More conservative houses like Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, stay in the $400 to $600 range. Pointing to execution risk, China's aggressive EV push and regulatory bottlenecks in autonomy as potential breaks on the story. But even in those conservative models, non-automotive segments are the fastest growing part of Tesla's valuation stack. Energy storage alone could hit $10 billion a year by 2026. Supercharger access to non-Tesla EVs could add another $5 billion by 2030. And if Optimus enters commercial service before the decade is out, robotics could rival autonomy in long-term profit potential. The spread between $600 and $1,000 plus per share isn't about how many cars Tesla sells. It's about how fast it can execute this pivot from car maker to platform owner. And back in scene one, we hinted at a twist. The one factor that could decide whether this trillion dollar vision becomes reality or just another bold promise. Because all the market potential, all the forecasts, mean nothing if Tesla can't solve one problem. Tesla has the rails, the infrastructure, the training data, the capital, and the market access. On paper, it has everything it needs to execute the pivot from car maker to platform owner. But paper isn't reality, because the one thing Tesla hasn't consistently proven is execution. From the years long Cybertruck delays to FSD related lawsuits and recalls, from aggressive timelines that slip by years to regulatory pushback in key markets, Tesla's biggest risk isn't whether the technology works, it's whether it can deliver at the speed and precision the market is now pricing in. And that's the twist. The barrier to Tesla's trillion dollar vision isn't scale, it isn't capital, it's credibility. Because in the end, boldness on its own isn't enough. Only consistent delivery turns vision into dominance. Tesla's not playing the EV game anymore. It's building an ecosystem, a platform, an AI powered electrified infrastructure company. But ambition alone won't win. Execution is everything. If Tesla nails it, you're not just watching history, you could be part of it. Moments like this are where early conviction can turn into generational returns or painful regrets. So ask yourself, if you believe in Tesla's vision, are you in early enough? And if you're skeptical, what would change your mind? Drop your thoughts below, I read every comment. And if you want to see how another tech giant, Xiaomi, is taking a very different path to disrupt the EV market, watch our deep dive on their play next.
subscribe to StratiQ for Strategy Decoded.